Okay, welcome back to uh, Zayed Ibrahim podcast. We have uh, we us today Siti Kasim, and in the last segment, uh, I'm going to ask her a few other issues. Uh, Siti, the the women's issue I want to talk about mm. in this country. As you know, the women uh, workforce has increased tremendously. Mm. There are now more lawyers. I think women than male lawyers I heard mm-hmm. and there are many women judges mm. women civil servants women politicians although some of them haven't reached the top but there's so many mm. and I always thought I always have faith in the woman leadership yes I, I think women has got more Balls. sense <laughs> they have more sense yes. I think women well, you know, for example, in in your household, in my household, mm. I think my mother was more careful about how much money we need, how mm. to spend, mm. than my father. Same here. Mm. And and I think women has got more sense of even justice, because mm. they had to do the hard work raising family. Mm. But but here in our country today. Do you see the woman's leadership, whether in politics or religion? Religious group, definitely not, mm. because religious uh, theology, the hierarchy, are always men, mm. controlled by men. Mm-hmm. But in other avenues of government, you know, do you see women coming up? Uh, would you see a woman heading the civil service, heading the uh, political party that becomes prime minister in this country? Well, I hope one day it will materialize. Uh, you see, the, 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 the Malaysian context, you know, they give a facade of, they don't discriminate women, they give, you know, uh, women uh, uh, positions, Equality. jobs, yeah. you know, be, women can go out, things like, although they're trying to lah, uh, via their religious lens uh, by saying that, oh, you know, you shouldn't allow your wives uh, to work with non murim you know, things like that. So they're trying to now push that idea. Uh, but uh, personally, I think uh, women in Malaysia are quite lucky in a sense. Um, uh, they have been allowed. But as I say, it's a facade, you know. You are allowed to, uh, you know, do uh, go to work, get a job and things like that. But uh, when it comes to the high-ranking positions, uh, they are much more controlling in a sense. So, um, and, and uh, so this uh, idea of... Uh, women empowerment is a is an illusion uh you know the uh, the what matters are actually are uh, how many women in powers how many women in the top leadership uh, of the country um and and the, the the problem is also you know it's all interrelated with religion you know um this is, how, how? yeah because you see the 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 uh, in islam a lot of them are saying women should be the nurturer should be stay in the house and all that uh you know and <laughs> and you shouldn't allow women too much freedom uh things like that so somehow or other you see 60 percent of us are malays huh? and how many have been indoctrinated uh with that kind of idea uh, I know personally of my uh, in my kampung, these uh, uh, the the parents uh, you know very proud because they have a lot of girls, and one of them went to study denti- dentistry. So when she went into the university, she met a very religious guy. So she came home su- suddenly with a niqab, and guess what? She didn't even want to practice. She became a housewife because that's what required of her. Uh, you know, the the husband supposed to be, uh, you know, looking after every affairs of the families. And that is what is being instilled uh, in the minds uh, of the... You know why in Malaysia is still surviving? Because of the non-Malays uh, mindset. They don't have any restriction uh, with regards to their belief. And they, are, they want their children to pursue to be the best, to success. Look, in our, look at our sports... The yeah. Olympic itself, you know, uh, the women who succeed, uh, mostly non-Malays. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because why? Because in the sport itself, uh, the Malays uh, have this restriction about clothing. I have parents who come to me. You know, when they their children in school, they want to go for sports. Uh, the teacher insists that the girls must be wearing a certain type of clothes. You know, and the the kids say it's too hot, mummy. Uh, you know, <laughs> this uh, this is the problem. And uh, I say so. So women are victims of our intolerance, lah. Intolerance because of the religious belief. Religious belief, yeah. You know, so that's why I always say that please don't get religion into the running of the country. You have to stop this. But you see, yeah, for example, in schools, you do not find any Malay girl not wearing tudung now. But you you complain to the 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 commentary and pelajaran. They will say we have no such rules to com uh, compel girls uh, to wear tudung. But actually, what do they do about it? No, they actually let these teachers. You mean to say there are no rules? No, there's no such thing in the KPM. Do you know that? Mm. I, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm telling you now because I have. I thought I thought that everybody wears to dome because the no. the regulation says so. there is no regulation under the KPM to force uh, 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 Malay girls, Muslim girls to wear to dome. No, no such thing. Yes. Okay, so hypothetically, if you were to go back to school mm. like this, yes, it's okay. Will they accept you? Oh, they won't accept me now. Of course, you know, uh, <laughs> they they will because the teachers. The culprits in this are actually uh, on top of the politicians. Uh, you know, they have brainwashed. You know, we don't know what kind of teachers being uh, 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 nurtured in the um, uh, where is it the the teaching uh, institute, um, the school teachers. Even the the non Malay school teachers are afraid. You know, to actually go. You see, my own school. MGS Methodist Girls Secondary School uh, in Malacca. Uh, you know. Oh, you're from Malacca. Yes, I'm from Malacca. Oh, no wonder you are like Hang Jebat. <laughs> well, at least you see Hang Jebat. Hang Tua is a coward anyway. So yeah, so it used to be we have one canteen, okay, one canteen, and uh, it's all halal, of course. You know, it's always been halal forever. But when I went back a couple of years back uh, for our alumni meeting, uh, you know, gathering. They got two canteens, you know, because the canteen one for Malay and one for non-Malay, but both are halal. So uh, uh, the canteen, the Malay one, apparently uh, the the teachers wanted a Malay canteen. Now the the head teacher is not a, mu a Muslim, but you know he he or she felt obliged uh, to entertain this idea. See, this is the mindset that we have now. The non-Malays have been cowered uh, into putting their foot down and say, "No, they are all halal. So what's your problem? I'm not going to entertain you." Uh, you know, but we. This is the problems we have. The mindset of the people. They are so afraid uh, to speak up, despite KPM not having the rules and uh, regulation. But the teachers and uh, you know, I understand if it's Kola Agama, Tafi School, fine. But our national schools are being overtaken by brainwashed teachers and hate teachers. So what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do mm. about it? Mm. it? Looks quite hopeless, isn't it? Yes. I mean, the women are being suppressed, oppressed. Mm. The non Malays are being oppressed, suppressed. Mm. Mm. And the ordinary people don't really know what's going on. They follow. Yes. And that's what. So, what's the solution? Okay, the only way. Ah, what? What's the way? For me, lah. Yeah, for yeah. me, is a uh, a third force, a real third force, meaning that not the last one. No, <laughs> we are talking about completely new faces, new blood, young or old, people who have a vision for Malaysia. Because current uh, politicians that we have right now, including the AP. Okay, uh, they they are playing the game for themselves. Uh, they are not thinking of the uh, uh, the future of the. Okay, country. can I s just hold on? Mm. Uh, do you think the AP will be like this mm. if the Chinese if the Chinese had been loyal to the values of oh, what is good for the country? Yeah. 
the fact that the AP just don't care means the Chinese also don't care. I think the AP cares, but they are more caring about their own self. Yeah, yeah, yeah they uh, care about their survival, position. Survival. So basically, uh, don't uh, you see? This is what uh, uh, we see in the political parties, whether it's uh, PKR, DAP, mm. uh, Bersatu, AMNO. Uh, they are all wanting to ensure that their their powers remain, uh, so they don't dare to do the right thing. So unless and until there is uh, a real third force uh, of people who will just take the bull by its horn. Uh, and uh, say this is our stand, and this is what we're gonna do, and the uh, people. But you see, the problem as well is the mentality of our people, lah. Yeah. Uh, as I said, this uh, third force, they may have uh, good uh, intention, they may have a lot of uh, you know brilliant ideas and all that. But uh, the mindset of the people, they are very loyal to their party. Hmm. You know, for yeah. example, when I stood for independent. I have people coming to me, City, we love what you do. We like what you stand for. But we must make sure PKR wins. You know, our, the the biggest uh, uh, was... Uh, uh, This is which area? Batu, Batu. Batu. Prabakaran. We, we have to make sure PKR wins. Otherwise, uh, they, we cannot form a government. This is what they think, you see. Mm. They don't understand that a government is formed uh, if there is an agreement by the members of the least, parliament yeah. you know doesn't matter whether it's independent or not hmm. uh, whether it's a small party big party or what if they have not enough uh, votes like what they're doing now yeah. you know what actually happens huh? as again I said God is great because God is showing look your your beloved party do not have enough numbers And still you can form a government they still <laughs> form a government so this is the the, the, the knowledge of the public about You see, they still look for logo, and 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 uh, and and logos and party. That's mm. the problem. If they don't change that, uh, they and I think race also. I I I think, I I think the it, okay they may criticize yes. pass or I'm no they're Correct. not happy. Yeah, I think so too. But yeah. if it's a Malay party, yes. the Malays will vote that first. Yes, and I think it's the same with the Chinese. Yes, that's why I I, I ask you. Mm. How different is the Chinese to the Malays? Because the Chinese, see, I think, will support the AP regardless. Don't blame them. Blame what the system has done to them. <laughs> the distrust, uh, uh, this, the, the distrust towards the other. Uh, this is the mindset that we have now. You know, uh, these all happened over the years, um, uh, and and not instantly. Uh, so okay, let me let me ask you. What about MCA? You never talk about MCA. So MCA is Chinese. You think MCA has deserted the Chinese? I don't think so. It's just that. So they, why is the Chinese not accepting the MCA? Because MCA never say a word. You know, look at DAP now. They are losing trust amongst the Chinese. You, they are. Yes. Are yes. you sure? Oh yes. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> That, that's you see, the Chinese are very sensible people, lah. I have to say. Okay. Uh, they are not just uh, mere follower. They use their brain at least. You know. I'm not talking all Chinese are like that lah. They are still, uh, you know, just like Malays. Not all Malays are like that. But, uh, you know, DAP is losing it. Losing it. I'm in a WhatsApp group with intelligent people. Okay? And and they they are losing their hope as well towards DAP. Just like MCA is losing their calling uh, DAP now, MCA too. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so, um, uh, if DAP really, you know, they know DAP has good intention but have no... Uh, Courage uh, to actually uh, stood up for them, uh, you know, and things like that. So uh, this is why I think that uh, if a real third force, you know, that really care for the country, uh, for the nation, not uh, based on race or religion, um, and the uh, rakyat also. Uh, okay, mm. I, I understand what you're saying, mm. but okay, my last question. Let's say this hypothetical or this uh, third force. There has to be a leader. Someone has to lead. Mm -hmm. So, who do you see in the horizon that can lead? Unknown yourself? people. I can completely tell you that uh, there'll be. It will be unknown. Uh, yeah, but, but they have. Are the, there people like that? Yes, I know many. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Uh, so they they they. So you you think that that 
person would have sufficient influence and uh, gravitas to lead a third force. You see, ah, uh, uh, I, I, uh, no, it's not just one person. There are a few people uh, uh, that I believe can lead. Okay, these are businessmen who have led the big companies and all that. Uh, whether they want to go into politics, this is our problem. Uh, uh, this, uh, but you see, you see, I always say that you know, don't talk much if you don't even want to get involved. Because as you said in the beginning, everything involves politics. Yeah. Uh, if you don't get involved, nothing will change. Uh, we are heading towards, uh, mm. uh, uh, you know, down the drain. Uh, if nothing change in the GE16, which I forecasted, PN will win more. Uh, uh, of seats. PN will win more. I think so. Yeah, because of the mindset of the people. Uh, you know, when the uh, uh, Undi 18 comes up, mm. people say, "Yeah, that's going to be great." No, nope. I can foresee the young people already brainwashed. You know, uh, the majority of them they are already brainwashed in schools, in pre pre preschool, school, university, Islam. To them, their kind of Islam comes first. Religion comes first. Then only uh, your, their, their race and Malaysian. They don't care about anything else because for them, life after death is more important. So that's the mindset of the youngs. Huh? Don't think that the young will help you. No. If we, the old gods here, do not try and help to change this country now, I, f I can guarantee you Malaysia will become a Taliban state. Already we are. Yeah, exactly. We're except, heading. except we drive a Bentley or BMW. Yeah, we're heading there. <laughs> we're heading there. Se seriously. <laughs> so this is why, um, if I have the money, like as you see, white people are living. If I have the money now, if I am rich, I will find a second base. Okay. Yeah, I will do that. Honest wow. to God, I. Uh, that's how much I am so disillusioned. I'm. Uh, yeah. So, thank you, City. I. Uh, I like your. Uh, determination and your conviction mm. and your willingness to speak as honestly as you can. Well, that's me. And I think that's refreshing mm. uh, in, a, in, a, in a country that is loaded with hypocrisy and cowardice. Yes. I think it is good and I want to thank you for having this conversation with me. Thank you. Maybe you can find some other third force leaders <laughs> We can talk some more about these issues. And uh, you never know. Mm. Uh, yeah. In our own way, we can contribute towards uh, creating that awareness mm. that should mm. help the country in some way. Yeah. Terima kasih. Thank Siti. you. Terima kasih. <laughs>